Hello everyone, I'm Evgenia Borodulina and you are on our channel Nikitina Expert where we talk about real estate with experts from all over the world. Uh, our company NEF Real Estate has been helping clients to purchase real estate for more than 10 years in over 40 countries and uh, mainly for investment purposes but also to obtain citizenship. Uh, today, we're going to talk about a project in Egypt. Egypt is a very hot and developing market at the moment. And our guest today is Maria Lukic, and she will be helping us to find out in more details about this fantastic project. Uh, hello, Maria. Thank you so much for taking the time. Welcome. Hello, everyone. And I'm glad to, to see you again. And I'm glad that we will be discussing one of our uh, I would feel free to say top seller projects uh, in in Egypt. Uh, it's Monte Napoleone, and we can start slowly just to to save the time and be more practical to give the people to understand where the project is located, uh, what are advantages, uh, what they can expect, and generally to understand about more about the market in in Egypt, specifically in New Cairo. And I believe we will just give a short and uh, clear intro in what they can expect for it. Uh, yes. So can you please tell us uh, how many projects have the developer completed? A reportage Properties is on the market uh, since 2014. And so far we have four, I would feel free to say five projects, which are... Uh, fully completed, finished, where the people have been moved in, or simply how we say uh, projects which have been handed over already. Uh, however, there are two projects which we are about to deliver by uh, quarter one, quarter two, 2023. And then the rest of the projects are coming across 2024, 2025, and also 2026. So, I would say that every year, uh, in average, we are delivering about two projects. This is somehow, I would say, the pattern which we are trying to follow successfully so far, and I'm sure we will continue in the same in the same way. Mm -hmm. That's really good to hear. Yeah, especially when you're making the project in such a quality that you do, uh, you definitely need that much time. Well, I I would say it's easier somehow easier for us because first we know what we are doing this is very important uh, second we tend to choose only the premium locations we we don't uh, go where everyone uh, is going which means all our projects are top location all our projects are uh, actually 90 percent of our projects are uh, waterfront which is very rare uh, to deliver, uh, considering uh, high competition, considering that all, you know how they say, first come, first serve. So uh, real estate was existing before 2014, but yes, we managed to get what we what we want, and so far is uh, is amazing. Mm -hmm. And so with this project, um, the Monte Napoleone, you've picked this location because of the new administrative administrative yes. center being built so yes. called. Mm -hmm. Correct. This was one of the, how to say, actually, this is one of the main points uh, when we are speaking about Egypt or, or Cairo, particularly in, in this case. What is the most important in this scenario is that uh, many people, they don't know, uh, not history, but many people, they are not very much familiar about the Egypt market and uh, this is why we are here to how to say to guide them and to to explain them more first egypt is uh, a country which has a huge population uh i would say cairo metro area is having 90 to 95 percent of the total population of the egypt therefore the cairo itself it's already how to say congested and it's overpopulated. Uh, government found an uh, amazing solution to build a new capital, new administrative uh, city to say like this, which will be uh, divided. If you can just scroll, if we have the picture, 
yes, with a map. Uh, this is the area which is coming just to the uh, next to the new capital. So as you can see, everything is in perfect geographical, economical, and social uh, ratio with the area itself. Uh, there are many uh, hotels, there are many malls, there are schools, nurseries, hospitals, universities. So I would feel free to say that people are moving out from Cairo as we know, and they will be uh, working, living, staying in a new capital. Mm -hmm. So yes, this is exact what, uh, what the name is saying, it's a new capital more modern, more developed with a much uh, uh, bigger and better infrastructure. And if we speak, if we check on the Google Maps or simply if you Google Egypt or Cairo, you will see that the country is, uh, how to say, expanding more towards Suez Canal because this is where all the trading, this is where all, all the business is happening. Mm -hmm. Yes, I see. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't uh, have Google Maps on here. But uh, yeah, you can definitely see like the Madinati city, Monte Napoleone, and New Capital like on the right. And then the Suez Canal would be yes. uh, towards east. <laughs> yes, look, this New Capital is basically divided into the sectors. So we will have the sector which is only for business hub. Not this one, the one if we are speaking about the new capital, which is coming just down uh, from uh, from this one. We can drop the link in the description later on for the people giving interactive maps, so they can they can check and they can they can understand. So we have business sector, we have medical sector, we have uh, leisure and entertainment sector with hotels, restaurants, retails, and so on and so on. So. Uh, it is a new city which is growing at the moment how some people they like to say in the desert which is and <laughs> yeah but i believe that this part of of cairo this new capital will be uh, i don't want to seem how to say uh, to to oversay the things but if you go a little bit deeper you will understand that there is a great future for this uh, area and there is a huge potential to become uh, next, uh, how to say, new metropole globally and internationally. Speaking mm -hmm. of which, I would like to say that if we are speaking about Monte Napoleone, there is one uh, international landmark which I believe everyone is familiar. It's Roland Garros. Uh, yeah. They have, they have. Uh, established academy over 44,000 square feet uh, area where uh, there will be many sports uh, uh, tournaments where people will be visiting so when we say Roland Garros it speaks for itself like we all know what we can what we can expect which is a very healthy sign I would say uh, mm -hmm. Because those people have already, they did our job. They they did heavy research. They have uh, spent a lot of money to to choose the location uh, strategically. They know what to expect. So when we say Roland Garros, I doubt that they are they are they don't know what they are doing. I will I would say like this. No, that's and that... the Monte Napoleone is just well. I would not even five minutes by walk. Yeah, I think it's just across the road. So the Monte yes. Napoleon is here where the brown um, uh, page is and then the R Roland de Rose Sports Centre is just across the road, which... Correct. Yes. I think I even put it here. Yes, like two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. Yeah, it is two minutes. This is why I said not, not more than five minutes walk. I mean, how they say it depends how fast you walk. So that, that should be that. True. And the location is really pretty good because it's like only 15 minutes to Shurak City and 15 minutes to Cairo International Airport. Yes, as I said, strategically, the location is perfect because whatever you need, it's there in relative proximity. Yes, this is 
This is the idea what we can see how to say in the neighborhood or how youngers now say to feel the vibe. <laughs> so this, this is what we can expect in the terms of, in general, I mean, when you say Egypt, all what we know are uh, so far, people are expecting to see some historical things mm -hmm. and uh, and the sea and so on. Uh, now, you, it's good that you put this one because this, uh, the first picture in Monte Napoleone, we have total of uh, four phases. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, where phase one is nearly sold out. However, definitely we still do have uh, certain inventory. Still, there are some good units for sale. And the completion of the phase one is uh, in Q4, quarter four, 2025. Mm -hmm. While for the phase two, which has been launched like three months back, more or less, the completion will be just one year later, which means Q4 2026. Mm. And definitely uh, in some uh, sooner time, some near future, we are planning to launch the phase three and finally phase four. Uh, I would like to say that Monte Napoleone is a mix of uh, apartments and townhouses as well. So this is pretty much good mix because it's giving so it's giving possibility to clients to be end users to have a spacious modern high end properties to live inside and also at the same time it's giving a benefits of investment mm -hmm. uh, these days like... no one is no one is renting the smaller units how to say in the long run in uh, in a yearly basis. People today tend to do more of a short term example, like a booking.com or, or Airbnb and so on and so on. And this area is actually having the, the demand for that, considering all of the restaurants, all of the schools, all of the universities. I mean, those people will certainly not drive back to Cairo if they are working like, let's say 30 minutes out from the capital. Uh, yes, absolutely true. And uh, here are like some photos of the modern townhouses, yes. which uh, I think they're all the same size, right? Like 993 square foot. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. And starting from uh, $250,000. And yeah, they just, they look um, amazing. <laughs> and uh, do they come fully furnished? No, they are not coming fully furnished uh, simply because uh, the area itself is attracting multinational clientele, I would say like that. Uh, a huge portf portfolio of different nationalities of the buyers. Therefore, we did not find a benefit in furnishing the way how we like it, where everyone would like to do something to to feel more like like home so the properties are coming as a simple as a simple house empty house where they have possibility to to make the home out of it at the best way they they think and they want mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i see and but the simplex and duplexes is yes. the same thing so it's not fully furnished but they have uh, like a community pool um, Definitely, there. Every building, every building will have uh, a pool, gym, and a small wellness. Mm -hmm. Every building, while uh, the pool, uh, the community pool and gym will be also available in the in the townhouses. Uh, also, around the plot, around mm -hmm. Monte Napoleone, we will have how to say a retail uh, belt, which will be surrounding the project with, uh, if you can find it, maybe we can add it later. Mm -hmm. uh, as names it says, Monte Napoleone is a fashion fashion street in Italy. So yes, this is the, the retail. So this is what will be surrounding Monte Na Napoleone. As well, we, we still have some retails for sale. So it's, I would say, residential commercial project. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a good advantage, actually, of the project, because uh, most of the time the developers don't really sell commercial just because it brings most uh, of the um... you can feel free to say it brings headache because there are so many businesses coming and everyone wants to <laughs> everyone wants to do it on, on how to say by their own idea <laughs> true that and uh, yeah and here is just a great opportunity for, for living actually living in a good environment like in a very developed area and also uh, if you really want just to invest or maybe have some cafe that you live above of then yeah that's there will be a lot of coffee shops pharmacies definitely a small bank uh, branches uh, two or three uh, bigger hypermarkets or supermarkets uh, there will be one clinic as well at the corner of the of the project so Basically, you don't have to go out. <laughs> yeah, true. Everything is everything is there. Yeah, well, it is really green, and the design, this yeah, Italian Montana blue. Yes. style. Yes. it is Italian design, and me personally, I I think we both like it. Now I I can just hope that that other people will have the same opinion also. I think the girls definitely like the Italian style. That's <laughs> that's for sure. Look, I will. I have been. I will feel free to to share. I've been speaking with many people who are having businesses in Egypt, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, in last, let's say, five to six years, Egypt has made a huge, huge step forward. I mean, not only one step. Uh, I would say a few st good steps forward. Uh, the development which we which is happening at the moment in Egypt is insane. Infrastructure which is uh, done, uh, which is in progress, and which will be there. Uh, it is it is really something which deserves every how to say every compliment, especially when it comes to real estate. If we are looking now in this picture, I would, for example, uh, not to be disrespectful, but I would never say this is Cairo. This remind this is reminding me maybe some uh, friends, Italy. So I did they they did actually we did a perfect mix, a perfect mix of the properties, starting from simplex, duplex, apartment, townhouse, retail, uh, food and beverage, um, uh, clinic at the corner. Uh, there is also one separate football pitch along with the tennis court, which is available for the residents mm -hmm. of Monte Napoleone. So it's basically a city for itself. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and the size of it is definitely like a small town. <laughs> like a small town, yes, like a small town. And uh, can you tell me a bit more about the um, sky villas? Like, they look very luxurious. <laughs> uh, considering that all of this area is having, how to say, uh, a government planning, that there will be no skyscrapers except in the new capital, which there will be few, like a landmarks, so we tend to give to, to, to the people the sense of, I don't want to say a penthouse, but when you have something what is on the top floor with possibility of utilizing your roof, maybe as a winter garden or as a sky garden or simply as a lounge, mm -hmm. then you definitely have uh, a sense of different living. You are not on the ground where you have a townhouse, However, uh, you are uh, elevated, you have two floors, and I would say you have a sense of townhouse living on the high floor. Yeah. This is pretty much interesting for, for, the, for living mm -hmm. and as well for the investment, because uh, many people who tend to, how to say, to have a bigger properties, to have two, three, four, five bedroom apartments, and yet they are not really a fan of having a ground floor unit. 
It mm-hmm. happens so many times. And therefore, I see this Kai Villa is a perfect mix to give them a little bit of a townhouse, a little bit of duplex, and yet to, to, to say, actually, I'm in an apartment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, absolutely. And there is really no need to do the garden, like all this morning is just not going to... Yeah, this is, the, this is the good part. <laughs> this is breaking point, you know. You don't have to do the, the, the gardening and all of this stuff. Uh, the married couples would definitely see it as a good point, yes. For the end users, is perfect because of the size, uh, also for investment. Uh, me personally, if I'm about to book something where I need space, I would <laughs> definitely book this. <laughs> I would definitely book it. Yeah, and this would also be like a good place for all the... Uh, people who are working in the new capital, like all the ministries and yes. yeah, yeah, like especially those who are coming from overseas, like they are renting long term for a few years and they want to long term. Usually, usually the the companies are the one who are renting in advance mm-hmm. for, these, for their business partners, uh, diplomats, ambassadors. Definitely, these people they tend to have. I would say more privacy, more space, mm-hmm. uh, different habits maybe of, of uh, living expectations and so on and so on. So we, as you see, we, we tend to, to deliver something for everyone, starting from uh, smaller units like one bedroom apartments, which are perfect for mm-hmm. uh, working and living people who are in, uh, in New Cairo, where we have two, three, four bedroom apartments and townhouses, which can satisfy the needs of the end users and some kind of a little bit different type of the properties as a sky villa, which will maybe satisfy different uh, different category of the people who, who are staying or working or living in New Cairo as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, and what about the maintenance fee? Like, how much do you have to pay to um, to keep oh, <laughs> this uh, Look, uh, in in UAE, particularly, there is to- totally different uh, scheme, totally different plan when it comes to maintenance and the service charges. In my country, it's coming different. In your country, I believe it's it's also different. When we speak up, speak about Egypt, they actually they do not have. Uh, yearly maintenance fee. They are not obligating you to do uh, to receive the bills every month or uh, upfront for a year calculated or accum- accumulated and then to pay. Actually, what is the, in the practice there, what is the law, is that you will pay before you move in a 10% of your property value of your property value Every owner will do the same. And that money will go into the pool Mm -hmm. and it will be used for the next seven to 10 years to cover all the service charges and all the maintenance costs. Mm -hmm. So in case it's... It basically depends on the property value. For example, if we have a property which is $100,000 US dollars value, which will be... Um, let's say in dirhams, mm-hmm. uh, around three hundred fifty to four hundred thousand dirhams, you will pay only thirty to forty thousand dirhams for next uh, seven to ten years. Or in dollars, you will simply pay ten thousand dollars for next seven to ten years. Mm-hmm. So this is, I would say, this is more practical. You know, you forget about it. You are not thinking how to arrange the bills, especially for the international buyers. If I'm an international buyer, I certainly don't need to think about the service and maintenance fee every year. True. and Because <laughs> in that case, the rent which I am collecting or getting is net. Yeah. Uh, net. I see. Yes, right, because you don't have to pay for the maintenance of exactly. the... Exactly, exactly. And uh, do you know the uh, tax on the um, the rent income that yes. the national person is getting? Mm-hmm. Uh, Egypt, there is tax in Egypt. Uh, however, there are slabs, there are schemes. What is taxable, what is not taxable. 
for example, uh, the properties about which we are speaking now in Monte Napoleone, I can 100% say they will not be taxable mm -hmm. because it works that they do, uh, they have a sheet that is like uh, explained that from 0% percent from zero to 15,000 Egyptian pounds, mm -hmm. I will speak pounds, you are not paying any tax. Then from 15,000 income up to 25,000 of Egyptian pounds income for rent, you will be paying only 2.5% and so on and so on. It's basically moving depending on the net rental income per year. Considering the prices which we are having in Monte Napoleone, none of the properties will come into the taxation unless you are really lucky and the prices will skyrocket and then, then we will have to probably to, to earn more and probably pay something something a little bit as a tax. I think we can I will share with you the sheet later on. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and uh with the payment structure like do you have a payment plan for the investors of course of course we have uh i believe we are we are the most flexible developer which which exists on the market <laughs> here in, in uae internationally and, and globally <laughs> yes we have we have different payment plans <laughs> we have different payment plans and uh, I will just give example uh, that we have the payment plan, which is basically 0% down payment. It means uh, exactly as I said, you are not paying any down payment prior buying the property. You will just need to pay 1% uh, of the value, 1% of the price every month until the completion and then the balance will be paid at the very end. Uh, we tend, we did this actually so that everyone has opportunity to, to own a property. Uh, usually when, when we say buying a house, what people think? I mean, let's be uh, transparent. People think they will need to have a lot of cash, that there are many fees, that there are uh, commissions, that there is many, many things which they need to bear in order to, to own the house. This is not the case. Uh, as I said, we are very flexible. Let's say 0% down payment, 1% each month. You have no additional cost. You are not paying the commission because we are we are developer. And I want to say we are developer and contractor, which means we are not, uh, we are not into this path of delaying the project or being late simply because everything is done within the house. If you outsource a contractor for yourself, for sure, they are not in rush, right? Because you are paying them for every day they are working. So even if they can finish it, let's say in a 12 months, I'm quite sure that they will make it 15 because it's more profit for them at the at the end of the day and it's more cost for us because every day we are spending the money and we need we need to pay for the service which we are getting so we are developer and contractor uh there is huge advantages in this as i said we are developer which is not late we are developer which is delivering on time which is very important which is very important then when you combine it with this kind of the payment plans it, it, it's literally, you don't have to have money to, to own the property. <laughs> you don't have to, <laughs> to own the property. I mean, this might sound now like a marketing trick, but the only way how people could relate is to contact you and get more details and understand actually how it works. Mm -hmm. And do I understand the correctly that uh, you are paying one, so no down payment for everyone, for locals and for international people, uh, one yes. And every month until yes. the completion uh, of the project, and when mm -hmm. it's completed, well, let's say in three years, which is going to be thirty six percent. So the rest sixty four percent is going to be paid straight away, or the, or do you have? Uh, we have two options. We have option. Look, it depends. 
uh, how to say, every business is the same. The, the more money you pay, the more benefits you get. Let's put it like this. So let's say if we are speaking about 0% down payment and some uh, very much relaxing scheme with 1% payment and even uh, post handover, mm -hmm. which we are running offer that you can move in and continue paying for your property, uh, then definitely we are not offering any kind of discount, mm -hmm. right? While uh, in the cases where you would like to put certain down payment, the money which is sitting in the bank, basically at the moment, and to do some easy installments during the construction in order to reduce the balance which you should pay at the very end, then definitely we are offering discounts as big as as low as five and as big as 15 percent oh well considering the prices this is this is how to say uh making drastical change later on in the price especially if we are speaking about the people who are investors who care only about return of investment so mm -hmm. instantly you are in profit i would say you are floating from five to fifteen percent uh, profit upon buying the property, which is definitely only your decision how much you would like to make profit. And one of the benefits of off plan is that um, off plan is uh, having a huge capital appreciation during the period of time while you're waiting your property to be ready. Simply because if we are selling, hypothetically speaking, this apartment for 100,000 US dollars. Definitely, you cannot expect us to sell the same property after three years with the same price. Of course, yeah. With the economy and also the completed project itself, it definitely worth way more because you can move in straight away. Yes. Yeah. No, that uh, makes so much sense. And it's still really generous. <laughs> well, I yes, I would say this. I would say this, actually. It makes you feel good. It makes you not feel stressed. It makes you manage your own funds. Usually when you are buying the property, we are all financially stressed. I would say like this, because you have you keep overthinking, you have so, so many things on your mind that at the end, uh, some people say, you know what, I, I, I don't want even to buy. <laughs> because the pressure is so high when they start thinking about everything. Uh, especially when they are not familiar, they are, when they are not present on the market. And mm -hmm. I personally believe each person should have at least one one property mm -hmm. because this is something what this is something what what will not lose value. This is asset. This is one hundred percent asset. It's making you money. It's not uh, how to say it. It's not spending your money. Yeah, and especially with this one, it's not just like you, any person should own any property. Like this particular one is in a uh, great location, prestigious luxury design, um, which is really affordable considering how generous the, uh, the developer's company is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, agreed. Agreed. Location-wise, uh, it's amazing. Prices-wise, uh, I will not disclose the how to say the prices now, uh, but prices-wise, I guarantee everyone can afford it. Mm -hmm. Everyone can afford it. And uh, are there any other additional costs? I mean, there are no mm, taxes on the rental? No, no, no. 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 And yeah. No, there is not. Uh, as I said, we are factory, we are developer, uh, we are building it. So people dealing uh, with us through you are not having any additional cost, mm -hmm. are not paying any services, are not paying any fees, are not paying commission. What you have to pay in order to own the property here in Cairo, in Monte Napoleone, is only the property value. Mm -hmm. And at the very end, 
this 10%, which will be used in next seven to 10 years as a maintenance fee. It's as simple as that. Also, the process of buying is simplified uh, mm -hmm. equally for uh, people who, who are in Egypt, who are in UAE, who are international buyers, simply because you only need your passport mm -hmm. and uh, any local ID, how to say something which is proving that you are resident of the country where, where you are staying. Again, uh, it's only because of formalities and correspondence details. We need to know where, where you are staying. Uh, so, yeah, th that was my last question. So, which documents again? A passport and a local ID like Egypt? Yes. Or, uh... No, local ID. For example, if we have a client, I would just say Germany, mm -hmm. he should provide his German ID if it's existing, simply to prove his residence in, in Germany. Mm -hmm. So, just uh, passport, uh, local ID of the country of residence, and uh, how is the payment process goes like is it a bank transfer or could it be used everything is today look everything is done online so when it comes to the payments uh, definitely after the meeting or zoom meeting or conference call or whatever or video call once the client chooses the property which he likes there is a reservation fee which is totally part of the final price of the property mm -hmm. and from that uh, reservation we give him 30 days to to start to process the first payment or the down payment. Uh, we accept card payments, bank transfers, cash as well, uh, considering that we have office in Abu Dhabi, where I'm at the moment, in Dubai as well, uh, in Cairo as well, uh, in Saudi Arabia as well, in Turkey as well and in Morocco also. Yeah, uh, many, many ways in order to proceed. Depending. Many ways, you know, many ways. Again, uh, sometimes people, they feel more comfortable visiting the office and mm -hmm. doing the formalities there. But considering very busy schedule and working hours these days, we all tend to finish quickly online or with a click or through the pay link and so on and so on. So um, if I'm not mistaken, so uh, if an investor is very interested, he can buy the property online without visiting any Correct. Offer. That's fantastic. That's actually really good. <laughs> then they will have to see you and they will have to see me. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, well, then, um, I don't have any more questions. Uh, thank you so much for telling us about the project and uh, the, the Cairo in general. Um, I will upload all the information and everything could be found in the link below this video. Um, so, yeah, thank you. Yeah, that, that would be perfect. Also, thank you so much. Uh, for the time and for for opportunity to explain more about <laughs> about project itself about Cairo itself and uh, I'm looking forward if any questions or something maybe what people would like to know we are here definitely to reply on on to on all their questions <laughs>